Hey guys! Welcome to free tutorial TV and Python tutorial for beginner. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up Python development environment on your Visual Studio Code environment. So I'm going to go step by step first of all. I'm going to show you how you can install Python and then I'm going to show you how you can install Visual Studio Code. And then I'm going to show you how you can set up Python on Visual Studio Code. So if you already have Visual Studio Code with Python, and you can keep these installation steps and directly go to the integration step. So for installing Python you just need to search for Python and the first link which will appear here will be from python.org. Now going to click on that link and I will scroll down a little bit and here I can see the download section. And the version I want to download here is 3.6.4% for which is the latest version. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to go to on the download page. So inside the download page I'm going to scroll down a little. And here we can see different file formats for installing Python on our Windows operating system. So what I'm going to choose is this one which is the executive installer which is really easy to install. So just choose the version Windows x86 64 executable installed right now. Once this executable file is downloaded, we are going to just to install it like a normal executable file. So now this executable file is downloaded. So I'm going to click on this executable file. Me just minimize the browser. So now the Python installation wizard has been started and you can see. This is the default location where Python will be installed and in order to add Python path to the environment variable you just need to check this option which say that Python 3.6 to path. Now I would like to install Python in a different path because this is a little bit confusing path for me. So this will be installed in my app. The local programs by 10 and then by 10 3.6. Right. So I would just want to change the location so I will just select the customize installation for me. But most of the people prefers default location and that's okay for them also. Okay. And here I will just leave everything as default and click next here. And this is what I wanted to change. So I just wanted to install Python in my C directory. So I will just remove everything from here. And then I want to install this Python in my C directory. And then Python I want to make this directory Python. And Python 36. And so I wanted to make this a Python 36 directory. And inside this directory I want to install Python. And I'm going to just create a new directory or new folder here with the name Python and then I will press enter. And so this directory is created. And then inside my Python directory, this directory will be created. Right. So I will just click install after stating my installation path. And then just say yes it is going to start the installation for Python 3.6. Right. So now I can see this message which they said was successful that means by store successfully on my system. So I'm going to just click close. And I'm going to go to my start menu. And you just click on all apps. And in all apps I can see this Python. I delayed. I dis installed and then Python 3.6 module docs are install. And then Python 3.6 manually install and. You can see Python 3.6 come online is also installed right. So what I will do is I will just click on this option. Which is Python 3.6. 64 bit and you can see python you know terminal is started right so i can just print hello world and then press and it is going to print hello world for me one thing i want to do is i wanted to set my environment variable for python so i will go inside my python directory and inside my python directory I will go inside my python 36 directory and then i will just copy this path and then once Again right click on the start menu. Then I will just go to system here. And once the system settings opens. I just called advanced system settings. And then the advanced system. 
setting environment variables. And here I'm going to add this environment variable to path. So I will just select a path system variable and I will say edit and then I will say new. And then paste this path which I have copied c colon backslash python backslash python 36 and then press. And click OK. OK. And then click OK. This is going to set my python path in environment variable. Now I want to open the command prompt and just validate that python is set successfully. So I'm going to just open the command prompt and here I just write python here and then press enter. And you can see by the entry point 6.4 version is installed. And I can see the python command line here. OK. So once everything is set we are ready to install Visual Studio Code. So the second thing we are going to install a Visual Studio Code. So just search for Visual Studio Code. And hopefully the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com. So I'm going to click on this link so you can see. You will see this option which says download when for Windows. And once you click on this button alongside this download all windows to all button you will see see windows 64 bit option and I want to install the installer so just press the button just in front of installer is going to download the installer of his visual studio called installer for you which is the executable file so now the visual studio called X is downloaded on my system so I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to minimize the browser which is going to start the installer First of all say yes and then this is going to start the Visual Studio Code installer. I would just say next. And I agree terms and condition and then click next and this will be the default location. I don't want to change. So click next and then click next. And then once again click next if you want to create the desktop icon and you can check on this option. And I'm going to click next. And then click install which is going to start installing the Visual Studio Code. It's really a straightforward process so you don't have to worry about it. So now Visual Studio Code is installed on my Windows operating system. So I will just leave this checkbox checked. This checked will launch Visual Studio Code. Now I'm going to click Finish. We're going to start Visual Studio Code on my Windows 10 operating system. And now you can see Visual Studio Code has been started on my Windows 10 operating system. And if you are not familiar with Visual Studio Code here, is where you will edit your file so when you click on this option you will be able to open any folder of your choice or you can create a new folder. This is the search option so if you want to search inside folder, some files or some words you can search using this search option. This is for Git integration. The third option is Git integration or source code integration. For example version controlling on other things. Right. Fourth option is for debugging which we are going to use so Python. Then the last option is for installing the extensions. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this extension option. Option which is the last option. So click on this last option and here. So search for Python. OK. So search for Python. Most probably the first result which will appear here will be by an option and you can see around 6 million downloads of despite an extension has been done till now. So this is from Microsoft. So with this is the official Python extension from Microsoft. So we are going to install this. So just click on the same install option. It is going to install this extension on your Visual Studio Code. And once this extension is installed on your Visual Studio Code editor, you need to reload your Visual Studio Code. So you can see this options reload or to just click on that option and then it's going to reload your Visual Studio Code. So now Visual Studio Code is reloaded. And now this Python extension is installed on our system. So now let's create a Python folder on our desktop. Let's say and then we're going to open this folder. So I'm going to create a Python folder and put it on my desktop. Python write and then I'm going to open this folder. 
Using this open folder option and I want to navigate to desktop and then Python and then select folder. So this folder will be opened in my Visual Studio Code Editor. OK. So once this opens we are going to just create a new Python file. So I'm going to just click on this option which says new file. Or you can right click and then say new file here. And then I'm going to just say hello p which is the extension for python write we're just going to tell visual studio code that it's a python file and now i'm going to just say print and then inside parenthesis i'm going to just write hello world and then i'm going to save my python file and it says lint a py lint is not installed so this is also an extension issue can install from here so when you search for pylint you will be able to install an extension. But for now I don't want to install it. So I will see this warning for now but later I will install it. For sure. Right. So I will just close this option. And I have to save my python file. And now to run my file what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this side debug sections or just click on this debug section and here you just need to click on this green button. You can notice here that there is no configuration right now so I will just click on the start debugging button. And now when I click this option it will just show me this warning to allow access and now I'd say it's fail to launch the python process please validate the path python. Ok. So I will just open the launch door. JSON file. So just click on this option which says open launch start json. It is going to open the launch.json. Now if you don't know that this file is located on our folder, you can just go here. Click on here and then go inside your .vs code folder. OK. So inside your .vs code folder you will be able to see launched, launched.json file. So you can see the name of the configuration is python and then stop on entry. This is the debug option. And then this is python path. Right. So this python path can set in the settings.json right. So you can when you hover over this it says defaults to value in settings.json. Right so what we are going to do is. We are going to just go to the settings.json which is the setting file for Visual Studio Code. I'm going to go to Files and then Preferences and then just click on Settings. Now this is going to open the settings for you on the left hand side you have the default setting and on the right hand side you have the user setting. Right. So here's a search for Python path. Ok. So this Python path by default. Let's see. It's set to Python and we want to set this python path to the python executable location. So I'm going to just copy this line and inside these curly brackets. I'm going to paste this line. And instead of despite in value, I'm going to use default where python is installed which is c. Backslash python backslash 36 writes. We just copy this path and paste it here and then you will see little bit little error here. So instead of a backslash you just need to use the forward slash for windows. And once again the forward slash. And then once again the forward slash and then just write. Python.xok and just save the settings. .json file. And then you can just close the settings. Use the settings and you can even close this launch.json file. Ok. So once it's closed. Once again we will try to run our python script using the start debugging option. And once you just click on this green button, you will see the debugging has been started. Right. So when you just click on this green button, it will print hello world on this debug console. Right. And then for example you can just say x is equal to for example 9 plus 6 and then also you can say a y is equal to 5 plus 9 let's say and then save your code and let's say I just put the breakpoint on the second line and then I'm going to just start debugging once again. So once debugging has been started to start from the first line because in launch.json let's 
Go to the launch.json and you can see the option for this stop on entry is 2. So when you just click false here or when you just write false here and save this. And once again when we just start the debugging it will just start on the second line. Right. So I'm going to start debugging once again and this time it goes on the breakpoint and you can see. Right. And here in the variables you will be able to see the value of x because this line has been executed. You can go to the next line and now the value of y is set. And when we go on the next line it'll print hello world here. Ok. So this is how you can set the python development environment on visual studio code. I hope you have learned something new this time. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like the video. Share the video and subscribe the channel. Have a nice day. See you in next video.